At what point is it too much? Every single aspect of my life has some type of negativity, adversity, conflict, being attacked by people, very, very little support. You know, there's only a handful of people in my life and, you know, a portion of my subscriber base that I am very thankful for. Unfortunately, that negativity has overwhelmed my life, especially for the past year or so. And all I've wanted to do is use my intelligence, creativity, genuine care for people to continue to educate and grow my channel through health videos, fitness, entertainment, whatever it may be. The end goal is to make as many people as happy as possible. And in order to do that, you know, I have to play the game a little bit. I have to try to get popular, make some money, you know, spend advertising, do, do whatever I can to reach out to as many people as possible to make a positive change for you know as big of a as big of the population as I can unfortunately a lot of the things I say in order to do that go against mainstream consensus saying Wi-Fi is dangerous which not one other person in the mainstream has mentioned not one person not one person has the integrity to tell the truth therefore what I'm saying compromises their businesses and if the health advice and the things I'm saying make everyone else wrong or contradict what other people are saying of course they don't want me here I'm constantly asking myself what's the best video to make my channel grow to reach more people I cover so much stuff on a variety of topics the carnivore diet general health food recipes news fitness all in-depth well-researched videos Consistently every day, I put so much work into everything and these past few weeks, I've been asking myself, what's the point? If I'm not allowed to grow on this platform and a lot of you guys tell me to stay positive, keep making videos, but how long can I do that? Until they make it so I'm only getting a few hundred views per day? And for what? So that these larger influencers can continue to plagiarize and copy what I say word for word? just to sell their products. The main reason for me making this video today is just to ask you guys to please visit my channel. Uh, you know, don't worry about staying subscribed because I know they're removing people every day. Uh, you know, if you can bookmark my page, visit the channel, watch my videos, share them with other people, share them on Facebook. And I'm not at the point where I'm desperate for financial support and I don't think I'm going to get to that point. Uh, but let's just say I'm making approximately 10% of what I was last year on YouTube. You know, and I hope to continue to provide value and health services uh, to those who do support my businesses. But you know, you know, without the money to be able to afford to advertise, without the, the natural social media growth, I haven't been able to grow my customer bases for my businesses. It's just another neg overwhelming negative thing I can't really get past. Another big reason I couldn't stop myself from making this video today, you know, I, I really do want to try to, you know, keep a positive message on my channel, not really complain or talk about stuff like this. There have just been so many weird things going on from the strategic slander comments on my channel to every schmuck with like 500 a thousand subscribers making a video trying to defame me every week i i really have never seen this type of behavior against anyone else on youtube before uh we've been just under a hundred thousand subs for over a month now we hit 100k i think like five weeks ago and then i've been tapering down i was at 99.9k for a few weeks now we're at 99.7k and i have you know a bunch of screenshots of people saying they were removed from this channel for no apparent reason and that's the ones i saw so i'm imagining they're removing at least a few dozen people from my channel every day and that is out of my control but that makes me question what tactics these people are planning against me you know, the carnivores, the vegans, all these people in the club, constant harassment, gang stalking, and every single one of my videos for the past month or two has had some type of specific attack on me. Plus, there are videos that have been taken down, which has never happened before on my channel. When I filmed, you know, the empty you-know-what in New York City, uh, when I spoke about that documentary being, like, fake, those videos were taken off of YouTube and that's never happened before. You know, are they taking away my real viewers and filling in fake ones or, or their own minions for some type of future plan where they take even more away? 
they tried to do it in the past, you know, with the carnivore and vegan stuff. You know, create an illusion when I call people out about a certain topic that I lose a viewer base, an excuse for them to suppress me. You know, when I talked about the carnivores, when I called out the carnivores, they had like a thousand people that were instantly able to click unsubscribe on my channel. That's what these people do. They create the illusion that I did something bad for my channel, but that's not reality. So it's very possible that somewhere in the near future, next few weeks, few months, these people plan some more personal attacks on my character, on my channel, and I'm just going to continue to lose viewers. Uh, I mean, the amount they're suppressing me, I don't think that's going to happen at this point. You know, they're just throttling all my videos. Most of you probably know this to some degree, but basically all of these other influencers on YouTube, most of them are in the club. Low-level peons working for the elite, and in order for their success, they have to discredit me because I am what they are pretending to be. They put up a similar image to myself about nutrition and health, that they want to help people, but then they steer people in the direction of buying their products, doing things that appear as healthy that aren't actually healthy, taking supplements that don't work, eating foods that have hidden downsides. You know, like a carnivore pushing feedlot beef without disclosing all of the estrogen, negative chemicals in it, downsides of the diet, that it might corrode your liver into a chunk of iron. But since these people have thousands to hundreds to dozens, whatever, they have people working for them. And these people will do two main things. Post positive comments to support the influencer's channel as well as advertise that influencer's channel to others. What's that thing like everyone wants to be cool and like part of the party? If you create the illusion that someone's cool and they're smart and they're knowledgeable by propping them up on podcasts, by having all these people say good things about them, it eventually becomes the truth. You know, anyone who's on the Joe Rogan podcast, this is a good example of that. That's the ultimate prop up. And there's also tactics on social media like spamming people to review a book, uh, oh, hey, yeah, what do you think of this guy's book? Or, or ho, oh, yeah, this guy said this about this vitamin. What do you think about that? And that's that person hiring people to strategically market himself. And because that person has all of those people working for him to post comments on other people's channels, on other people's social media, those other people believe this new illusion is created that your viewers want you to review that book to talk about that topic that person spoke about but in reality it's just a few dozen people tricking you into doing so and if you have that illusion created you're going to believe it to some degree uh, i'm used to the gaslighting and lying so i recognize it but it works on most people and most smaller influencers it's how they build their brand feed off all of the smaller influencers and then use a larger network. I'm sure some of you guys wonder, hey, where did this doctor come from? Where did this guy come from? Who's this new guy on this podcast? Th they have these plants, these industry plants. They put them on a few different podcasts. They make up a story. They give them credentials. They say certain things. They do this, they do that. At the end goal, all they want to do is steer people in the wrong direction. Not only do those people they hired do that marketing stuff, create that illusion to prop those people up, they attack people like me. Anyone who opposes them, points out what they're doing, they want me gone. Any means possible. Personal attacks on my sexuality, on my family, as if my personal life has anything to do with you know me spreading my health information and trying to help people. Uh, God, like, what do I have to make a video telling people I'm not gay? Is that what I have to do at this point? Like, I mean, I, I think I might actually have to do that. I, I really don't know. Um, they use that sexuality stuff to turn off the low IQ people. And there have been way too many fake reviews slandering my book. I wrote my businesses, Frankie's Free Range Meat, Organ Supplements, Frankie's Naturals. These clowns want all the money for themselves. And the stuff these people get away with is unbelievable. I mean, the raw alignment stuff with ButcherBox a few months back was hysterical. And now John Venus is working with the carnivores. Ooh-wee! That's a testament to how they are all in one big club together to make money and control you. 
there was a comment on my video yesterday. Uh, oh, Frank Tofano is selling grain-fed meat. I was like, this is unbelievable. They will literally turn what I'm saying against me. I have been calling out the carnivores for selling grain-fed meat disguised as grass-fed for the past two years, and now they're telling me that's what I'm doing. I've been calling people out for plagiarizing and copying my content for two years, and now they're telling me I'm copying and plagiarizing other people. It's comical. The gaslighting, it's hysterical what they will try to do and pull off, and they will have dozens and dozens of people say it you know, to the point where they try to get to people to believe it. But logically speaking, it, it, it's... It's absolutely ridiculous. First of all, grain-fed meat, from a wholesale perspective, I, I shouldn't even have to explain myself. Grain-fed meat's more expensive than grass-fed meat, from a wholesale perspective. And, I have demonstrated people copying me word for word. Guys, just because someone else wears a shirt and I wear a shirt, that's, it's, 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 I can't. I can't make this stuff up. They see me as the biggest threat because I point out their marketing lies, low product quality, I have better products for a more affordable price, and I don't care about profit. All I care about is making people happy and healthy. But these people are so far on the other end of the spectrum, they will sell you the lowest quality dog crap for a price higher than what I'm offering. So if I have the integrity, if I don't care about that they can't win if I don't care about profit if I have integrity they can't win they're able to stay afloat because they control all modern media sources businesses do get what they deserve they fail but that's what astroturfing is for that's why controlling the media allows you to have a crappy business they just create the same business again under a different name selling the same garbage. Every single video I've posted for the past few months, there have been dozens to hundreds of people in the comments upvoting a specific negative agenda and it's different every day. One day I talk about Wi-Fi and they'll create this weird, you know, few people saying, oh, I sleep next to a router and I'm fine. If I talk about peanut butter, they'll blame, oh, the reason people can't eat peanut butter is peanut allergies. Oh, they'll throw in some Bible Christian stuff here and there. And I should really make a list and take notes of this stuff. Point is, there are hundreds of losers getting paid scraps to create this illusion that my channel isn't successful. And by doing so, you know, it kind of gives the platform an excuse to suppress my videos. I mean, how else would you get rid of someone who is bound to be successful? The level of nutrition information on my channel is unmatched. These other people don't do research to improve people's health. They do research on a specific product and make up a plan to sell it. I do that the other way around. I research a problem, I find the true solution, and then if there is a product to be recommended or to be sold, then I might mention it. Usually I'm not selling it myself. And not only that, they'll steal other people's information and twist it to fit their agenda. You know, for instance, when I had the iron overload problems, and I still do, and I tell people, hey, you shouldn't consume liver for iron overload because it's high in iron, it's high in things that can make your liver function worse and harder, but the carnivores took that and said the copper in liver is actually good for iron overload, which is dangerous and incorrect advice, but hey, they can sell you a liver powder or a liver supplement. When these people slander my name on other channels, various social media forums, review pages, whatever it may be, that creates a bad first impression for my channel and it, it makes it difficult to grow when they create these rumors and these ideas about me. And, and not only were they doing that, they had to de-platform me from Reddit, from Facebook. My name is completely banned you know, I'm, I'm banned on Instagram too, and it, it really is pathetic. They, they couldn't slander me well enough because people saw the honesty and integrity in my video, so hey, then they just say, no, no, you can't be on here anymore. They control the platforms, they control what people see, and as with what's going on in the world right now, you have hundreds of thousands to millions of people spreading lies, working together to control the majority, the billions of people. If I'm not able to grow my channel, make more money, build my businesses, how much longer can I do this? You know, at, at what point is it just not going to work? You know, on top of this stuff, you know, 
all of my businesses are stressing me out to my wits end. You know, the stuff you guys saw yesterday is just the tip. You know, when you have to figure out and do everything yourself, it's unbelievably difficult and, and the challenges never stop. I said yesterday I feel like I'm getting crazy because I'm surrounded by craziness. It, it's unbelievable. You know, there was no food on the shelves, you couldn't buy meat, and these clowns were still talking about the carnivore diet. You have vegans blaming meat for what's going on in the world, saying that animals are spreading diseases. You know, fitness people are showing you workouts from their state-of-the-art home gyms they conveniently built several months before this happened. They're putting up Wi-Fi towers near us and farms that can make us sick and control us and our food supply, and no one else is talking about it. Why is Ice Age Farmer able to talk about the food supply and he's not suppressed? Why is David Icke able to talk about the towers and he's basically a household name? How come Joe Imbriano can make videos about weaponry in schools but I can't? There's a bunch of other names but you have to understand that these are disinfo agents. They are focusing on a specific topic and guiding people in the wrong directions. It's why you won't see vegans or carnivores branch out of dietary topics. Their job is to control people through these diets, being paid to do so, and telling the truth isn't in their job description. I don't know, let, let me know what you guys think about this. I, I just had these thoughts for a while and wanted to get them out there. But uh, uh, this is just to like, you know, preface you guys to, to, you know, what can possibly happen in the future. And you know, maybe, maybe there's a chance that you guys constantly visiting my page, you know, sharing my channel a bit more, um, you know, might put us back in a positive direction. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today. Um, I'll see you guys for tomorrow's video.